What is up, you guys? I am on freaking YouTube. We are back on the tubes. I don't know how 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 long this is gonna last, but I just know. There we go. Let me fix this. I just know that a lot of y'all have been asking when I'm gonna come back for at least the try on review hauls for Buff Bunny. So. I'm making an appearance. Um, keep in mind, I haven't done YouTube in forever. I don't remember the last time I've even hopped on here and done a video. And I haven't talked to a camera in so freaking long. We got a new camera, so I am taking advantage of it. The screen for me to look at myself flips out from the side. So if you see me looking over here, um, I'm definitely trying to figure out if I'm still in the frame or not. I'm used to cameras like flipping from the top. like up but this will do this will do this is a legit camera so let's freaking get started i'm gonna talk about the cake launch that is launching on march 25th at 1 p.m cst this launch has a lot of cute colors i am a fan a fan so let's go ahead and hop into it i do want to mention that i am now a 34c cup um, I was a 34A. Uh, my sports bra size didn't change that much. I went from basically an extra small to a small. I could still fit in a lot of extra small bras. It just depends on how com like how the compression is on some of the sports bras. So I'll go ahead and obviously list all my sizes for you guys. And um, the bottom wise. I like my shorts and my leggings a little tighter than most. So typically like in the legacy leggings, I'll wear an extra extra small. Depending on the compression, I'll wear like an extra small. And um, I'll get into that because there's some from this launch where extra smalls run big and then some extra smalls run true to size and then or too tight. So I'll make sure I'll let you guys know for each piece you know how they actually fit me the reason why i like them to fit a little tighter on like shorts and leggings because buff bunny is known to have like a no front seam right in the middle of your crotch so if it's too big it kind of like has a lot of like bunched up fabric on the sides and i'm not really a huge fan of that so we are gonna hop in. First thing I'm gonna start with are gonna be the sports bra. This one is going to be the Limitless Laser Cut Sports Bra. It has a good compression. It's very supportive, um, but as you can see, the front part of the cup, it comes down very, very low. So cleavage, like th this bra is really good for my itty bitty titty committee girls because it comes down lower, so it does make it look like you have something <laughs> rather than nothing and i would say this is an extra small no this is a small actually and i do recommend going up a size because if you're anything like me my traps they come up like i'm so trap dominant like it any sports bra like it will cut out my circulation right here i'm not even kidding you and my lats are a little wider I, I went with the small. An extra small, I would most definitely not fit in it, and some seams would be ripped while taking it off and putting it on. So it is a double strap on each side, and then the back, it also crisscrosses. And um, I want to show y'all like the detailing of it. So it has like the little laser cut designed all around, and in the back, keyhole area and it's to match the um can y'all see it now we have the sculpt seamless sports bra this is how it looks like it looks freaking tiny tiny um and it crisscrosses in the back like this i actually got an extra small on this because it is seamless and a lot of seamless stuff hit or miss is tight or loose on me so Y'all, look how small this is. I'm hoping this will fit me. I haven't put this on yet. It does have removable pads, but one thing to keep in mind is you guys know how some sports bras, like in the inside, it has a seam going down, so it separates each 
pad from the other this one doesn't so i don't know if we're gonna run into an issue of both of the pads colliding together and not staying put i haven't tested that out yet but that is a concern for me we're, we're just gonna have to wait and see y'all see for an example the uh, the bra that i just showed you guys it has like the seams in the middle where it sews down in the middle so each cup padding gets separated unlike this one where i know it's black but you can't see it there's not like a seam or anything down in the middle to separate the two pads all right we also have the alpha sports bra this is one of my favorite sports bras before i got a breast augmentation and it made it it also made it look like i had boobs but now that i've gotten a breast augmentation this is by far one of my favorite bras ever because it's just so freaking simple and cute and i love how it comes down a little bit so I can wear it as a crop top if I wanted to and it also crisscrosses in the it also has the removable pads you can't adjust the straps but I have no issues with the straps on my trap um, it's not tight or anything but I did go with the small and I'm glad I did because the small doesn't like cut into my rib cage right here the legacy leggings one of my favorite favorite shorts Booty contouring seams at the top, no front seam. Right. It's a very buttery smooth material. If I wanted a tighter fit, I could go an extra extra small, but right now since I'm bulking and I'm weighing at about 116 pounds right now, the extra small fits me just right where it's not too tight and not too much fabric scrunching up in the front. These are the Legacy shorts again in 6 inch. The one that I just showed you guys earlier is a 4 inch inseam. This one is a 6 inch inseam. The same thing with the booty contouring seams on the back. It's just more of a, I don't want to say biker short vibe because biker shorts are a little longer in my opinion. But um, I'm also not a fan of like longer shorts. But let me show y'all for some reason the six inch inseam makes my butt look great y'all are gonna laugh at this the name of these leggings so it's called the bbl because it's the buff bunny legging hello and i'm loving the seamless that they have during this launch they are coming out with seamless shorts but unfortunately i didn't get any of those pieces and i need to know like i i need to know how they are because i love these leggings right here so the logo looks like this and the only downside with these leggings is the fit is great but the band the band comes up so high on me that well this is probably almost every legging um i like to flip it over once and when i put these on and i flipped it over there is a buff bunny logo thing situation going on i'm not a fan of that what i kind of do is i put the leggings on and i kind of just push them down a little bit i can't like flip them over like how i want to but i feel like that's not going to be a big deal it's just something that i'm so used to doing with flipping it over once so i'm just gonna have to get used to that um but the material this material is insane i love the material and i love how like each color that is launching is gonna have like this little heather look to it but this is one of the ones that i had to try like when i saw they were launching this i was like i have to at least try one of the seamless i don't care if it's the leggings or the shorts i have to at least try it and when i wore this everyone went crazy over the color but next is the lit laser cut legging i think they have came out with these leggings before so these are just like the sports bra how they have like the little detailing right here it is a little bit more compressed it's more compressive than the legacy leggings so if you have a pair of legacy leggings i would recommend going up a size from that this was an extra small and it was tight 
it was tight. I could most definitely go a small because with all the movement that I was doing, I had I, yeah, I actually wore these for leg day. You know, you doing like the squat motion, like I kind of, even though it was seamless, it was so compress compressive that it was riding up a little bit and I was getting like a small camel toe, which, come on, everybody has a camel toe. It's okay, but it's just, it was just, you could really see it and I was just not a fan of that. I feel like if I've gotten like a small, it would have been much 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 better the next item i was i was very curious about this item it's the corset legging and it has a corset top to go with but i don't know i just i just didn't know how it would look like with the set together i feel like it wouldn't look too gym y for me so i didn't want the whole set if anything i would have rather much tried out the legging than the top if you have a little corset design going on here it's also in the back but these material it's very 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 soft and i guess because of that the extra small is not as tight as it is so with the corset legging i would most definitely go with an extra extra small i feel like if i've gotten this in an extra extra small i would like it a lot more other than that, the design on this, it's just like your basic legging, uh, no front seam or anything. The only difference is there's just like the corset design in the front and in the back. Those are basically all the items that I received for this launch. Now, what I could tell you, my favorite will always be the Legacy Shorts. And, of course, the Alpha Sports Bra, which is why I got them in two colors. And if you're a Seamless fan, um, I really do love how the Seamless leggings fit on me. I just wish, again, that they didn't have this Buff Bunny logo in the inside. I was just not expecting that. Now I wonder if the shorts have it because I am going to order a pair of the shorts. Um, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. It has a little booty contouring at the bottom right here. I didn't receive any of the legacy leggings because I literally have them in every color and I didn't even bring them in to try it for y'all. But those are my most favorite items. I would say my least favorite item is going to be the corset legging because that's just it's not my style and I love this color so I wanted it to try it on another thing is it there is a band um, it kind of cinches you in a little bit but it's not it's not too tight so that's what I was worried about as well I thought the band at the top right here would be you know digging into my sides causing muffin top but because it's not as tight as i thought it would be it didn't do that but i do feel like if i've gotten this in an extra extra small it would most definitely dig into my my torso i would really love this lit laser cut legging if it was a size small and I'm never a size small in anything. So keep in mind, if you order the lit laser cut legging, go up a size. Go up a size. For sure, for sure. Also, you guys see my nails. I tend to like, I like to pull up my leggings. It's like a habit of mine. And it got caught in one of these little holes over and over and over again. And it still never ripped, which I'm very impressed about. Out of the 10, um, I did like everything. I did like the fit and everything on me. It's just the two uh, leggings, the corset and the lit laser cut legging. I would have gotten a size up. But that is basically it for this haul. I do feel like this launch pieces are going to go fast because people have been waiting for all of these colors to come out for the summertime. A lot of new pieces too that I've never seen and, you know, put on myself before or they've never launched. So I know some people will go crazy on that. If y'all have any questions for me, let a sister know. But yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys know my code. It's lift like tip um, in all caps. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. What do they say? Like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or anything for me, leave them down below. And I will try my best to get to them. If you need... Um, 
more up close visuals you can always message me on instagram and i will try and get back to you as soon as i can but yeah i'll talk to y'all later